This hemodynamic loop model allows researchers to test the in vitro hemocompatibility of vascular devices such as perfusion tubings or stents under standardized conditions. So this technique does not exert any impact on the blood by mechanical force and thereby avoids the misleading results by intrinsic activation of the blood components. Before attempting an experiment, proper mechanical part assembly, perfect loop closure system construction, and slow blood loading into the loops must be practiced. To prepare the loop assembly, use a tube cutter to cut two 50 centimeter long, five millimeter inner diameter pieces of tubing on a flat surface and plug the open endings of the tubes into a short piece of silicon tube, fitting the outer diameter of the investigative tube to generate a loop shape. Carefully tighten the locking screw of the tension band connector and adjust the closing force so that no gap remains between the tube endings. If the locking screw is fully tightened and the tension of the polycarbonate band seems too low to close the gap between the tube endings, Open the locking system and cut a few millimeters of the tension band. To prepare a stent loop assembly, open two of the loops and take the tube out of the tension band system. Then insert the stent into the middle of the tube as instructed by the manufacturer. When the appropriate number of loops for the experiment have been generated, secure the loops in the loop cradle of the rotation unit outside of a 37 degree water bath and attach the loop cradle to the rotation unit inside the water bath.